During my presentation, I am challenging the idea that apostasy and blasphemy is punishable in the name of Islam because a lot of um, supposedly apostates and blasphemers are being jailed and sentenced to death by the Sharia courts, like in Mauritania and other countries. So for us, as Muslim human rights defenders, we are challenging this interpretation of Islam. And the good news is that in 2018, the highest Moroccan religious authorities also came down with a fatwa that apostasy and blasphemy laws has no basis in the Quran, but is a punish, it is only used for a political tool uh, to silence dissent and political dissent especially. Imams Fushi is a network, an initiative that we have created to support imams who are uh, religious male authorities, uh, muftis, uh, community leaders who are supportive of women and girls' rights. And one of the responsibilities of becoming an imam Fushi is that every week you have to, in your sermon, advocate for women and girls' rights, because otherwise nothing's going to change in their society. So this is one of the initiatives of Imam Sfashi, and it's working. Well, the women were the future of Islam 1400 years ago, <laughs> and we want it back, <laughs> but with the support of the men. Yes and no, because it depends on who you hang out with. Because here in, uh, in Europe, the Muslims I hang out with are the same type of Muslims I hang out in the Maghrib and also the same type uh, that I hang out in the United States. So it all depends on your values. So it really, there's no yes or no answer.